When learning a language on your own for the first time, it's hard to know what path to follow. There are so many popular methods, strategies, and learning pathways out there that most people just pick the first method they find and start learning. This works well for a while, but most people soon find that the method they're using is too boring, too stressful, or simply too abstract and unable to help them use their target language productively. What if there were a better way? What if you could find a tried and tested method that is well organized and structured according to the major language skills, capable of helping you memorize words and sentences easily and naturally, able to develop your ability to think directly in your target language, built upon a foundation of stress-free feedback, both fun and rewarding? Fortunately, there is no need to wonder. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some of the foundational concepts of this method. And don't forget to stay tuned till the very end because I've got a surprise for you that you will not want to miss. Hello, I'm Luca Lampariello. I'm a language coach who speaks 14 languages. And on this channel, I'll help people learn foreign languages more efficiently, faster, and in a fun way. This video is part two of the series of how to start learning a new language. And by now, I'll assume that you have seen the first video of the series and picked up a high quality beginner resource based on the recommendations I made there. But if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out now. I've included a link in the description box. Once you have your beginner resource in hand, you can start working on the one activity that will be the backbone of all of your future language learning success, building skills. This is an important detail that often gets overlooked because language learning is at the end of the day, and first and foremost actually, about acquiring skills, about learning how to read, how to write, how to speak, how to listen, along with all the countless sub-skills that any competent language learner has in his or her toolbox. In traditional classroom settings, the development of skills often gets overlooked in favor of facts. Facts in the form of conjugation, tables, word lists, grammar explanations, the names of verb tenses, and so on and so forth. All of these things are related to language, but it's important to realize that knowing these things has nothing to do with speaking and using a language productively. For example, did you ever consult a verb table when learning your native language? I don't think so. So my method, the method I'm going to be talking to you about today, doesn't waste your time with such things. Instead, I'll be teaching you how to use translation to develop a core of authentic language skills, the very skills that native speakers of your target language use each and every day. Let's dive in. Step number one, gain a deep understanding of the content. In part one of this series, I spoke at length about the importance of bilingual texts, and in particular, bilingual dialects with accompanying audio files. Now, if you follow my advice, the resource you've chosen contains many of these dialects, which you'll now be using to begin learning your target language. In this first step, the goal is to learn how to take these beginner dialects, which should come in both your native and target languages, and use them to develop a deep understanding of what the target language version of the dialect actually means. As an absolute beginner, the first skills you'll need to develop are listening and reading. That way, you'll be able to interpret the sounds of your target language and decipher the written language used to represent those sounds. Luckily, your bilingual dialogues should have everything you need to start learning and reading quickly. Once you get comfortable with following along with the text and audio, you can develop a deeper understanding of the content of the dialogues in a number of ways. For example, read the target language text and listen to the audio at the same time. Or you could read the text in your target language only without audio. Read the text in your native language only. Read the text out loud in your target language. Compare both the target language and native language versions of the dialogue and use the accompanying grammar notes to clarify any details you did not originally understand. Completing these activities will help you progressively gain a deeper and deeper understanding of what any given dialogue in your course book actually means. At this stage, focus solely on grasping what the dialogue means. Do not worry about translation. Do not worry about memorization just yet. Those will come later. Step number two, translate the text into your native language. Now that you understand what the target language version of your dialogue is supposed to mean, we're going to complete our first translation step, taking the target language text and translating it into your native language. Since your chosen beginner resource likely comes with a native language translation of the dialogue already, you might be curious why this is 
even necessary? The answer is personalization. Your brain is more likely to memorize information that it deems important or personally meaningful to you. Straight out of your textbook, the dialogue you've been working on probably doesn't have much personal relevance. Someone else wrote the dialogue, so it's not something that is unique to you or your circumstances. By taking the target language dialogue and using what you've learned so far to translate the dialogue into your own words, you're doing two things. You're creating a unique, more personal, and more memorable version of the dialogue, and you're paying deeper attention to the content and structure of the original dialogue so you can translate it faithfully into your target language. Together, these two steps will help further solidify your knowledge of the dialogue and make it much easier to memorize the words and phrases it contains. At this point, it's important to consider how you'll perform this translation and where you'll keep it. For most people, I recommend either writing the translation by hand into a dedicated language notebook or typing the translation and saving it using software like Google Docs or Evernote, for example. Personally, I enjoy typing my translation into a Google Doc. Typing allows me to complete the process quite quickly and, and, and doing so in a uh, word processing software allows me to move and reformat things easily. Step number three, translate the text back into your target language. Now, for the final step, you're going to take your personalized native language version of the original dialogue and translate it back into your target language. This is the most powerful step of the entire process since it provides a number of key benefits. It tests your brain's ability to recall what you've learned in the earlier two steps. It tests your ability to form phrases and sentences in your target language. It compels you to think directly in your target language so that your first sentences convey the correct meaning. So where do we start? How do we actually do this? Well, first we actually start by waiting. Once you've completed the native language translation in the last step, it's best to wait anywhere from 24 to 48 hours before translating your dialogue back into your target language. Why should you wait? Well, because waiting helps you actually forget. And why should you forget? Because information that is forgotten and then later recalled will actually create stronger memories than information that was never forgotten at all in the first place. Traditional schooling teaches us that forgetting is a bad thing, but neuroscience research has shown that forgetting plays this fundamental part in memorization. And to repeat, if we forget something that and, and are reminded of what we've forgotten, we will remember it better in the future. By waiting a day or two to complete your second translation step, you'll be taking advantage of this very, very important neural mechanism. Once you're ready to translate back, here's is what you should keep in mind. Translate sentence by sentence. Read your entire native language version of each sentence first, and then attempt to convey the meaning of that sentence into your target language. Avoid translating word by word if possible. If you find that you've forgotten a word or phrase, try to rack your brain for three to 10 seconds and try hard to remember it. If you still cannot remember after that time, leave a blank space in your translation and look it up later. Once you look them up, those forgotten words and phrases will be more strongly remembered going forward. When you finish this reverse translation step to the best of your ability, you can compare your new target language version with the original version in your course book. This step provides the stress-free feedback I hinted at earlier as it helps you observe the kinds of mistakes you make in the language as, as well as in the kinds of things you're more likely to both forget and remember. So there you have it. These are three key steps that will help you start learning any language through translation. To recap, those steps are gain a deep understanding of the content, translate the text into your native language, and translate the text back into your target language. These steps are a distillation of the method I've used to learn 10 of the 14 languages I currently speak. If you put them to use, and do so often, you'll quickly begin to read, understand, and think in your target language, even as a beginner. If you'd like to learn more about this method, including, among other things, a powerful learning plan that will help you rotate through all these activities uh, consistently and efficiently, uh, take a look in the description box below because I've left a link to my brand new uh, language learning course, which will teach you everything you need to know about 
putting my bidirectional translation to work for you so that you too can learn any language. And as always, thanks for watching and happy language learning.